Come on, can we uh, first get your name? Erin Newman. And could you spell it? E R I N N E W M A N. And you live here, right next door? Yes, sir. Uh, so, what happened last night? Well, I was just do minding my own business, and around like 8 59 o'clock, I get a knock on my door. I didn't know who it was. I look, and it was my neighbor, Terry. And I cracked my door a little bit, and I said, Yes. And he goes, I need you to call 911. I just killed my niece's mother and showed me his bloody hands. Wow. So I slammed my door, locked it, called 911. He knocked on my door again, asking me if I called 911. I told him I was already on the phone with 911. And he left my porch. And maybe like a couple minutes after that, his niece comes at my door. She knocks on it. She told me, uh, that mommy's not moving, mommy's not breathing. So when we came down my driveway, we were over here. We were talking to the police and she told me and the police that mommy's gone, that she doesn't have a mommy anymore. Wow, how, how old do you think she is, do you know? She's five. Five? Five years old. Oh, wow. What, uh, what went through your head when he knocked on the door and told you that? Just get away from me. I, I didn't want him to get any closer to him. I was the only one home last night. My sister was at work. I didn't know what he was going to do. I didn't know if he still had a weapon. So as for when he told me to call 911, that's, that's when my action was to slam the door and lock it. I went hiding and after he kept banging on the door, I didn't know if I was gonna have to go grab my grandfather's gun, if I was gonna have to go grab a knife or anything of that like you, I, you have no we have no clue what goes on through someone someone's mind like that